on launch day, before the actual launch of the Orion takes place in Florida, the Icana will take off from NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center and head out to the Pacific to acquire the Orion capsule on reentry and look at the parachutes as they come out. So we'll be at an altitude that when the Orion capsule is coming in, um, it'll be coming towards us um, as it's going down. We're going to use the infrared camera to acquire the vehicle as it's coming down and eventually change to the optical camera to give better situational awareness of what's going on on the splashdown. Ikana is a Native American Choctaw word that means conscious, self-aware, intelligent. And the reason we chose that name for the airplane is that we were interested in doing research in autonomous control in ways that the airplane could assist the pilot in avoiding collisions or avoiding traffic and being able to respond to its own environment in a safe way. The agency has used the Icana UAS in several different ways. Icana supported the Western States fire mission. The goal there was to provide situational awareness to the firefighters in the middle of fighting a fire and do it in almost real-time manner, something they had not been able to have from the air in the same way. Okay, we're leveling off at 12,000. Our first tense point is going to have us around 80 knots. To, uh, We've also flown fiber optic technology on the airplane to measure the wing bending uh, on the airplane. Push over, pull up. With the fiber, they could measure like hundreds of times more of what the wing was doing. So if you want to have the feedback to what you want the wing to do, either by bending the wing or bending other surfaces, you have way more feedback by doing it this way. Oakland Center for Hawk 2-1, it looks like I'll be overtaking traffic uh, my nose for uh, about three miles. I'd like to deviate right. Right now, we're getting ready to fly the airplane with a research flight control system that will allow an eventual autonomous capability of the airplane, primarily for self-separation. Our goal is to improve the safety of UAS flying in the national airspace, and if we can help the pilots on the ground controlling the remotely piloted airplanes um, know where the traffic around them is and give them standard ways to separate from that traffic, this would be a great uh, way to, to do that. Oakland Center, I got a traffic advisory saying that I have uh, zero two Sierra overtaking. I'd like to deviate right for traffic. Hawk 2-1 approved as requested.